going on guys as most of you know if you follow me on instagram we had a blown transmission cooler line and well i assume that's what it was well there was it was leaking everywhere it was bad you could see where i drove through town it was so bad and it completely drained the transmission i'm lucky it didn't lock it up uh but i will show you what happened and all you first gen guys beware this this is a common problem that i found out um they use these clamps all right so here's the hoses they use clamps to hold them together whenever they get loose they rattle and vibrate against each other you know since it's a first gen and look at that that can cause you a transmission right there it's pretty well flat on that corner and here's here's the other corner where it was rubbing on the other side i mean that is i don't know how it didn't go through that and these clamps just aren't any i don't know what the purpose was but you can see if I get my shadow out of the way here, right, right there, the clamp wore a groove in the line. So instead, oh, this this short one right here, yeah, this is two hundred and twenty dollars. So knowing me being cheap, uh, we made a fix or a better one, I would say, a better line. So I got, I went and got some hose clamps some half inch hose and pretty much made my own setup now i had to get barbs for the hose because here up in there here's the cooler and here's the lines where they come out right here and right here so i got two barbed fittings and that, that went into there and then i just got hose clamps and hose which we will get under the truck. They come down right here and they come across. I'll slowly walk my way to the other side. They come across, here's this right here is the one that had the hole all the way through it. So it came up into this and it was actually attached to this but I just cut this off and hooked the hose onto it. It comes up to a sensor. I don't know what that does. That could be overdrive, something like that. And it hooks up up top here, back in there, this one. So we made that, got it all clamped down. And yes, I'll put my cover back on here in a minute. We just got done running the truck to check the transmission fluid. All right, so I'm gonna get back out and go around because I don't wanna get myself that dirty and then that other line comes around to the front driver's side of the truck and I had to get another fitting right here because uh, well a double-sided barb is what it is really plastic double-sided barb and it hooks into this line so and then I just zip tied them I put the uh, the original clamps, and you can see it where it held both. I just put it back on the metal one, hold it in place. But yeah, that's how I did that. Uh, that can cost you a transmission, no doubt. One of my buddies, Clay Scott, uh, he told me, he said, well, that's how I got a built transmission. I was going down the highway, running about 65, 70 at night, and a hole ruptured in that line and it completely dried the transmission out of fluid and it just locked up, which, I mean, that's that's how it goes. I'm lucky that I caught it in time and stopped in time because I could smell it getting hot and I didn't know what it was. Luckily, I stopped to eat with my buddies there at Taco Bell and, I mean, the whole ground was just covered. You can, I don't know if you can see it out here, but there's definitely a dark spot down there where I drained all the fluid out of the, like whenever I ended the lines fluid came out so we just ran the truck as as you can tell the hood stack covers off ran the truck checked transmission fluid I don't know what these call for maybe four or five quarts mine wasn't all the way empty because I had to fill it up so I could drive it home while it leaked out so I ran it checked fluid we are good to go um, it's actually I'm I'm pretty happy with it I'm gonna probably drive it to O'Reilly's and get two new, two more bolts for my uh, flywheel cover up there because I've only got one and that's not doing the job. So we're gonna do that. Somebody, somebody's coming by. 
Um, but yeah, next we'll fix our oil drain. We're trying to get that out of the way. Welds are sold, shipped off to Nova Scotia. Update on that. Uh, trying to get a hold of some wheels from a buddy out in California. But we will keep you guys updated on that. Watch, watch my Instagram. You will, you'll find out everything first on Instagram because it takes to upload these videos. It takes me, it takes like a day at least to upload them, and they're not that long. And most, like the quality is janky. Like if you guys will see my last video, the quality was terrible. The, Guth the quality on Guthrie's video that I posted was like really nice. I think if, as long as it loaded good for you guys, it was like, it was really nice. So it is what it is. I'm. I'm trying to look around for different cameras, and I'm not serious enough about it. I don't make money off of this. I just do this for fun. Kind of show you guys what, that's very common. This is 178,000 mile first gen, and those lines rubbed each other raw and made a hole. So, I recommend, if you haven't done it, if you haven't transmission swapped or anything, I'd recommend, it doesn't take that long, go up there, unbolt those lines from the cooler, and check in between those lines. Because whenever those rub each other raw and you're going 70 mile an hour down the highway, you just lose the transmission. So that costed that whole thing, all the hose, the fittings, all, all the way down to the last hose clamp. It was 49 something, so 50 bucks. 50 bucks can save you a couple grand. I know that some people are like, well, fix it right, just put the other line back on there, or put a new line on there. Well, it's going to happen again anyway. And that just for one line is two hundred twenty dollars. I'm not going to call myself tight or cheap, but I am. I'm not spending two hundred twenty dollars just for the same thing to happen again. So we just did half inch uh, line or the same exact line that was on there just for hose. And I think it's going to work out better in the long run. Uh, it's not going to come flying off during shifts. We don't have enough line pressure. So I'm going to go take it for a test drive. Uh, it's just a little tip to all you get first gen guys out there. This is. It's a really big deal. Uh, I don't, it can happen to anybody. And like I said, this is a pretty low mile truck. A lot of you guys are running around 300,000 miles on your trucks. But here, th this is the, let me take this off. This is what was in the cooler, in the transmission cooler at the top. So I had to, re I had to get the same fittings on this end, but uh, this side, the bottom end is a barb for the hose. So I took this in and I just got the right size for that. And I just pretty much, I'm not using the rest of it because there's no need, it's pretty much screwed. So that's a quick little don't ruin your transmission hack for your first gen. So you guys stay tuned for the next one. We should be getting some new wheels and some fresh rubber. I'm pretty excited, probably gonna get some Toyo MTs or something. So make sure you guys are staying tuned. Uh, today is Wednesday. Keegan is coming Thursday or Friday. I can't. I don't know which day. He's not working Friday, so he's gonna make the drive Thursday. I'm beyond pumped. I can't wait. Uh, neither can Guthrie. I mean, none of us can really sleep. I don't think it's always whenever he, whenever we're all together, it's like we we're never away from each other. So I'm really excited. Uh, we're gonna use the rest of that hose to fix our oil drain leak, and we're gonna be set. We're gonna hopefully be no leaks for the drive terrain uh, then we're gonna get to our axle seals and stuff so uh, we'll get to that I'll do videos on that you guys have a safe one tomorrow it's gonna be 98 the next day it's gonna be 100 it's gonna feel like 110 I'm sure stay cool stay hydrated you know what I mean stay hydrated uh, take it easy and make sure you come back